high quality in every way, Ned. Every single way. I, I'm finished here today now, to be honest about it. I'm sorry to be finished with them because each and every one of them are marvellous to me. You know, when they see somebody my age coming, they make sure that they do look after, but in their case in particular. And I've been here before now, I was here last year, same thing. The first thing you get when you come here is professionalism and, and, and a welcome when you come in the door, and nothing is too much. So initially, I would have started my treatment in Dublin. Um, I had my initial consultations um, and I suppose a plan and a map of my treatment. The plan was for me to receive my chemotherapy and radiotherapy in the Midwestern Cancer Centre. Having to travel to Limerick and not to Dublin was fantastic because um, I suppose treatment is such a difficult ordeal to go through anyway. So it meant every evening after I, my treatment I could get in the car and come down home to Kerry again and be with my family and relax at home. You know, whereas in Dublin I would have had to stay above there, be admitted and um, yeah, I suppose that would have been quite lonesome. I am an hour and 20 minutes from the Midwestern Cancer Centre. I um, got to my treatment every day because I have great family and friends so they all basically came together, devised a rota and they took me up each day. I had a day out every day exactly so um, yeah and they were so brilliant and everyone was willing to carry me and it was fantastic to be able to come home again every evening. It started in January. I was called back in for a routine check which I was used to over the years and then Three weeks later, after a biopsy, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Obviously, when you get diagnosis like that, the first thing you feel is fear. That's most, most, most common. I felt I needed to turn that fear into some form of fuel. So the way I looked at it was, um, on the very first day, I said to Miss Merrigan, I feel like this is like a jigsaw puzzle, this journey. And each piece has to be put in place at the right time. I would be a very independent person, but obviously when I got the diagnosis, that's all kind of taken away, that's stripped back and you do feel very vulnerable. And I think when I realised the radio therapy was going to be in Limerick, and when the nurses told me, sure you can drive yourself in Lorraine, most people do. I really did, did feel like, you know, you know, I got this, I can do this. I had a great experience going through the unit. I know that sounds strange, but I think because it was so close, I was able to drive in myself. And that, that I had a great feeling of um, empowerment, like I was in some sort of control in a situation that I really wasn't in control of. From the very first moment when I walked in the door, they'd be there with smiles on their faces. They would be so welcoming, so warm, and there was something very positive about that. And those positive vibes definitely ran throughout the unit. From the moment I met the nurses, the radiographers, the doctors, they were all fantastic. They were unbelievable. There was no question in my mind that I wouldn't um, tackle the disease head on and come out the other side of it because I knew I had a great team behind me. That unit has such a place in the community, like it services so many areas around the place. Um, yeah, it, it just has to be there. One of those things that it just has to be there, like. Today now I was finished and Vivian, the girl in reception, gave me six eggs to take away for my, as a result of my visit here. But you saw it yourself inside there. The quality of, of, of the people here is very, very good. Very, very good. In actual fact, you can see if you look around, you know, there's a bus up from Kerry here today which goes to show the importance of the unit here, that they're coming from down the country here to be treated. It's vital to have the, 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 the facility here. It just makes it easy. It makes what would have been, what is difficult enough, it would have been incredibly difficult without that bus service up to the, up to the hospital in Limerick, really. And it's actually a pleasurable trip because the conversations up and down are generally pretty interesting and the time passes quickly. I leave the house here, 8.30 in the morning, and I get the bus less than 10 minutes from the house here. I'm in Limerick at 10. I'm kind of done by 11. And today, now is my 31st session. So there isn't, there's no way I would have been able to drive that myself, you know. Well, I try and keep the conversation going and keep them focused on something other than their, their, their own condition. Local events or local news or sport or 
As you know, Kerry being a footballing county, there's always debate about who has played well and who didn't play well. And I enjoy being of the service of people. I, I like doing that and, and I hope the people that I do bring appreciate the service that, that the Kerry Cancer Support Group provide for them because I'm sure it's, it's, it's invaluable to those. Almost exactly 12 months nearly to the day, um, I was the Kerry Rose and it was actually my sister that actually applied and put my name in, into the hat for it and I said oh my god like she basically said Gillette this is your time to you know we wanted to raise awareness of cervical cancer and especially in younger women so it gave, me, it gave me a great platform to definitely speak about cervical cancer and raise awareness of it. One of the girls asked me um, would I just uh, or come along to a Thrive and Survive program that's that they're running in November and that maybe I could just show a little bit more positivity that you know that I hold anyway you know and that generate that um, kind of conversation in the group and whatnot so I think I, that's something I probably yeah I most definitely will do you know. I'd have to say I find it excellent I was offered that option Cork or Limerick but Limerick from here is one and a half hours. Normally I'm sitting back at this table by 1, 30 and I have a little lunch and I'm on the beach, Bannet Beach by 2.30. I'm having a snooze at 3.30 and then I have my evening and my night. It's, it's all good. It's all good. So the cards were coming in anyway. They were coming in from Lourdes and they were coming, lads, I'm telling you lads, I've cards in the drawer out there, right? I, I, people like me, I was shocked. I, people liked Lorraine, people really got behind me like. But then a card came in from the local Undertaker's lads, it was the funniest I'm thing, serious. I swear to you. <laughs> I was outside there in the kitchen, I was weak. Not a bad card. Yeah. Hope you're feeling better Lorraine, Pat Magner. <laughs> I'm not sure you couldn't make it up. It was a bad day in the house, I said, but let's, let me tell you, the laughing I said that I got off of that really cheered us all up, but yeah. So things like that, yeah. lads, you know, Turkey, things like that. that great. Yeah, you have to have the fun, you do. don't you? You have to see the fun in it, Yeah, no, you, you do. know.